Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back. Today we are going to do an open box video, and these are some of my favorite videos because um, you guys get to see my true reaction as I'm digging through um, a box to see what's in there. And um, I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers, and you know, come join our family and participate as much as you'd like. I really enjoy getting to know new people, and this is really a place for us to share information and just get to know each other and um, just kind of hang out and have a good time. So welcome to all my new subscribers. And uh, I have my Ohio State gear on uh, today because, you know, basketball tournaments are going on and they are being held here in Dayton and Ohio State plays today. And so my Ohio State gear, by the time you guys see this, the game will obviously have been over for a couple days, but <laughs> um, the, the tournaments will still be going on at that point. And also before I start with the open box video, um, I did have a request uh, from a viewer, and I will list their name here somewhere, um, to do a swatch of the Sally Hansen Color Fast Tint and Moisture Balm that I showed you guys last week. The color I have is number 5 in Nude and Natural. If you didn't see that video, I will link it down in the information bar below. Um, she did ask to see a swatch. These are very similar to all of the you know chubby sticks that are going around now, and these are only $4.99. So um, that's the most affordable price that I have seen so far. Uh, I have worn this. I do feel like, I think I like the Neutrogena for the moisturizing benefits better. And you need to remember um, that neither this or the Neutrogena are stains. So in comparison to the Revlon Balm stains, um, they're not stains. So they're not designed to do that. But I do like them better than the Revlon. I have not tried, uh, what is the other brand? Is it Maybelline or CoverGirl? That has, I believe it's CoverGirl, that has um, some out now as well. I haven't tried those. But here is the swatch for you. It is a nice nude. Um, if you have darkly pigmented lips, uh, I do have very darkly pigmented lips. Um, this is actually my natural lip color kind of toned down a little bit. I do have some lip color over the top of it. But you can see that the color is naturally very dark. So if your pigmentation on your lips is very dark, then this is going to be more, um, even more kind of a sheer wash of color, but it will tone down your natural color. But if you have lighter pigmented lips, this is, is going to uh, apply, you know, pretty, pretty true to color. So just keep that in mind when you're selecting um, color options. I did tell you guys that I chose the lightest color that they had available because I felt like if these were pigmented or not pigmented, we would know it best by the lightest shade. So... Um, you know, it's pretty nice. Uh, like I said, they don't feel quite as moisturizing as the Neutrogena does. They sort of remind me of like, um, a lip balm that is a little more of a dry, more of a waxy, uh, base, like a beeswax base lip balm where it's a little bit of a drier feel on the lips. Or you could say that, uh, when you've had your lip balm on for, you know, a couple hours and you're getting kind of close to the point where you're ready to put on a little bit more, but your lips are still slick. It's kind of uh, feels the same as that. So anyway, there's your swatch. And now we're going to get to the open box video. So um, this is the box. Uh, let me give you a little backstory behind it. Um, I have mentioned before 37 Diva CC uh, on this channel and suggested that you guys go watch her videos. And recently she did a nail polish giveaway. And uh, I, I watch all of her videos, so of course I watch that one as well. And I commented on her videos like um, I always try to do. And uh, all you had to do to enter the giveaway was to comment. And so um, I actually just commented because I normally comment. But uh, surprisingly enough, I did win. And um, I was really surprised to hear that. I, and as a matter of fact, when I was commenting, I wasn't even thinking about winning because I, I never win things just based on luck. Um, I only win things that involve, you know, something that you have to work towards. I mean, I can win things like that, but just based on luck, I don't usually win things. So I was very surprised when she contacted me and said that I won her giveaway. So um, I just want to say thank you to you, Roxana. Um, you know, I know that a lot of people don't appreciate the fact that um, you put your time and your effort and your own money into doing things like this, and I really do appreciate it. And so I just want to take a second to say, you know, thank you. And um, so let's see what's in here. <laughs> okay, so she did send me um, a little card, which I did, uh, I did read. 
and that was very nice so thank you for that and then this thing is packed full of nail polishes I mean it's full of these little goodies so I am going to start to open them and show you what's in there now I do know that these are um, sinful colors polishes if you're not familiar with sinful colors uh, I think it's really great products um, they're very affordable they're under two dollars and you can find them in your um, Walmart and your drug stores I mean they're very readily available so if you have never checked them out before go check them out and if you just need a little treat for yourself and uh, you don't you, you don't or can't spend a bunch of money but you just need a little pick-me-up I think these are a great way to go because they're very affordable um, and the polishes really are nice so wow that's really pretty so here's the first one and this is what the bottles look like if you've never seen them before let me get a little there block out some of the glare um, this color is sugar and spice and I'm just going to open these now and edit out the opening so that we can just see the colors. This one is orange cream. Orange cream is number 1173 and sugar and spice is number 1170. This one is sugar rush which is number 1169. Gosh these are so pretty. These are, I'm, I'm all about these milky pastels, these in, in bright milky pastels this spring. So these are perfect. Uh, this one is candy coated, number 1174, which is a gorgeous purple. Mm, that's not looking very purple, is it? Let's see if I can get it. This one is Sweet Tooth, which is 1180, and this is also a purple. This is a little bit more of a pinky undertone, still kind of a lavender purple. I would still describe it that way. Um, but more of a pink undertone, where this one is the darker of the two with more of the plummy undertone. This one is Sweet Nothing, number 1170, and it's a beautiful, almost like a Tiffany blue, but a little bit more of a green um, base to it, a little deeper than Tiffany blue, darker. This is Unicorn, 953. I think that might be my favorite, just because of the name. I love unicorns. I collected them as a kid, um, and I still love them. Don't they just make you, they're a reminder to me to dream, you know, and use my imagination and dream big. This one is Cotton Candy, very, uh, very suitable name for this one. It's number 1172, nice, intense, bright pink. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is... Green Ocean number 220 and this is like a gel base like a green gel base with um, little iridescent reflective bits all the way through it that's really pretty and they reflect sort of a bluey purple you know how that does it changes color a little bit but right now it's giving me a lot of kind of a blue reflection so really nice and the last one is Stardust, number 1164, and that is gorgeous. This is a deep, rich purple with uh, bright, hot pink um, glitter in it. And the purple is um, kind of glittery, too. It's hard to explain. If I had to guess, I would say that this is probably like a black gel base or like a darker colored gel base. And then it has this purple which is definitely a reflective material like a glitter type material but it's more like it's ground up and then the pink glitters are more defined obvious glitter so that's really pretty I want to say thank you again Roxana I really do appreciate it and I know how much time and energy you put into your videos and you put into um, you know gathering information for people and you put into doing nice things like this and um, you know I know it's not cheap either and so I really really do appreciate it and I want to say thank you again okay so if anyone has any questions about any of those polishes or if you would like to see them on my nails if you have a specific request 
uh, for me to show you, you know, any of them on my nails, I would happy, be happy to do that as well. So just comment below. And I think that's it for today. So um, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you want to come hang out with us and talk beauty and fashion and all things girly, then I would love to have you here. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.